Khalif Ray moments ago put up a 9-8-1-2 on the floor. So she's solid. Della Caroli ominously wearing black tonight. Some <laughs> difficult choices to be made. <laughs> Jamie Dancher getting set to mount the floor. She's fourth after two rotations. And I think if women's gymnastics had a headline, she and Amy Chow would share in it. This routine, one of the most difficult, one of the most beautiful routines that we'll see, not only here, but even at the Olympic Games. Right, Becky, Beth, of course, a 1980 Olympian, never got to fulfill, walking in those opening ceremonies. She says that's what she missed out on most. Beth was telling me today about going through the Olympic trials in 1980. She didn't even remember where they were. I think she blocked them out because during the trials, everyone knew that there was a boycott. It was a very empty feeling and how enriching it would be if they could go with Jamie Dancher to the Olympics in Sydney. And it hasn't been easy with this young lady. She has really tested, really challenged them. And you know, Tim talked about the difficult tumbling. It was absolutely awesome. She has the combination of power and grace. She's got the package. We've talked about that. But look at the look on her face when she dismounts right here. There's confidence in that face. She wants to go to Sydney. Jamie comes from a hard-working family. Her dad manages a grocery store. Her mom is a waiter. They're, they're here, Joyce and John. She comes from a family of seven. Five of them still live at home, so you know that Joyce and John have, has a, have had a busy life. And imagine in all of that, all that goes into taking Jamie to the gym and picking Jamie up at the gym and taking Jamie to the gym. And back and forth they went. Back and forth she went with the Rybackis twice, too. But when she came back, talks with them, talks with Bella Caroli, he got in her face a little bit, and suddenly this, this star came out. Jamie Tantor, 9-8-5. one of Kristen Maloney's coaches. Now back to Dominique Dawes. Dominique, so far here tonight, has been the fifth best gymnast. Scored okay on the ball. Hit on the unevens, 9-6 plus. And this is an important one because, remember, we've been talking about Vanessa Atler, how she typically fills the void of vaulting and floor.
crowd favorite in an arena that knows its gymnastics. <laughs> Elise Ray coming over. And there's Dominique Mosciano. She's providing insight on some of the technical things that are happening here at the Olympic trials at NBCOlympics.com. And, of course, Dominique Mociano had thought to be right in the middle of the mix at these Olympic trials. But something bad happened to Dominique in training for this event, and so she had to call it quits. She was one of Bella Caroli's chosen ones. The follow-up to Nadia and Mary Lou. A perfect combination of Romanian blood and a Hollywood birth. Dami. Dominique Mociano had it, and Caroli was there at every step. No one was shocked when she was the youngest national champion. It was like a sprint that led to Olympic gold. I like to be remembered like the old Dom, just smiling and having fun. The Dom that they first fell in love with that smile, that young Dominique. to realize like how much I had been through and understand that you know what it was a hard road but I gave it my all. Just being a two-time Olympian would have meant a lot to me. I had been through so much these last couple years just that would have just been great like at the end of the rainbow pot of gold. I was so psyched after nationals to try to get better at least in my heart I know that I tried. God, if I could just show them one more time, show everyone what I'm capable of, I still had it in me. Tuesday, here in Boston, she withdrew from the trials. Her knee now holding a debilitating chip of bone. The Olympic comeback won't happen. Sometimes, you just don't get that second chance. Dominic Mociano will have knee surgery in a few weeks. In January, they'll fix something in her shoulder. She wants to try and be part of the post-Olympic gymnastics tour. J.C. Phelps also pulled out in the midst of trying to return to the Olympics. And now Amy Chow is getting set on the floor. The crowd reacting to the Dominic Dawes score on the floor of 9-2-7-5. They liked it a lot more than that.